Hello fellow knights, and welcome back to 3D Gaming. Today I'll give you a quick recap on the June events happening in Knights of Ages Global. A quick shout out to our slowly growing community, the Pimp Fascia 362, Nier K, Ramad R, Teikoku Kagekiden. Triple T Gaming. There are a lot of missions that happened for this month. Now we have a new permanent missions. This is where you can submit your own missions to collect special items for your artifacts like the White Soul Stone. And you can also accept missions that will give you a bonus reputation. For example in this, if you will be completing a level 7 mission for Sinest, in 4 hours you will be given a 200 extra reputation. As for your own mission, you need to pay 3 crystals for others to complete it and then you'll get the loots afterwards. The next one is the Return of Dark Shadow. This is a boss event that runs throughout the week. We have different ranking rewards, progress rewards, and score rewards for this. Everybody was given 3 chances to do a lot of damage from the Terror Knight boss. For this event, if you are on the top 10, you will get 30 Queen's Order, 25 if you are on the top 50, and if you are on the top 100, you'll get 15. If you just participated, then you'll get some silvers. So let's congratulate the top 10, starting from Heretic Hunter, Tom Tom, Crimson Sun, Melstrom Rex, and the others. For the overall progression, everybody has received silvers, Lunar Silver, 50 Crystals, and the most exclusive 5000 Musain Reputation. For personal score reward, if you manage to do some damage, you will get a lot of bonuses and the very rare Sleep Boy Hat. This is a dress headgear that has an agility plus 2 bonus. Also from this event, a lot of reputation for the Northern Island was given. You can collect these prizes until tomorrow before the server restart. The next one would be the Royal Rewards. From the 4th until the 7th of June, we will be having Royal Rewards where different missions will be dropping Clover Coins. The bonus maps for this week are Sinest and Wivetia. They will give 20% more of Clover Coins if you complete missions within their kingdom. If you haven't noticed, the Dragonstone rare item was added on the exchange prices. This is the most rare items in Knights of Asia so you better get that for this event. The next one is the Traveler Reform Store. This is an event that I will not recommend you to do. Until the end of the month, you can exchange Reform Crystals to Lunar Silver or Soul Crystal. This item is needed for over upgrading your equipments and artifacts. If you have many of these, you can do so, but buying the crystal directly from Gods of Trial will need 30 of the Gods Mark, but if you trade it, you will be spending 48. So that's a waste of 18 Gods Mark, so never do this trade. The next one is the Traveler Store. This is another event that I will not suggest you to do, because you will be spending your Dragon Zones. If you want to know what is this for, go to the store section where you can find the endgame equipments, the helmets, and the boots. These equipments are very unique and grant very special skills which will make your unit stand out among other players. It will need 400 of these dragon stones so better keep them and don't exchange them for any of these events. The next one is the time limited mineral resource gift pack. This is something that you need to top up with real money or dollars which I don't believe is necessary. This is for the stones and the metals that you will need in game that you can farm and leech on for free. We also have the June monthly login event where all you have to do is log in every day. In total, you will need 25 days so if you start today, you will be able to get the last prize. You can claim crystals every week which is already good but if you are able to complete 25 days, you can get the soul crystal at the end. The next event is the daily market special offer. Because there's no discount for this week, I would not suggest you to buy any of these. Do not spend your crystals for such items because you can farm Lunar Silver in the Trial of Gods as well. The next one is the thank you gift from the Merchant Guild. If ever you really have the money to buy in-game items, I suggest that you do this until the June night. Buying $5, $30, $80, and $165 will give you extra bonuses. This also has Dragon Stones and Crystals that will help you along the way. If you buy the higher tier, you will be able to get the smaller prices. For example, if you buy the $30, you will get all the prices from the $5 plus this very rare item, the Straw Ring. This gives Vitality plus 2 and the skill Full of Life, wherein for every action that you will do, there will be a maximum HP plus 5% for your unit that can stack up up to 5 times. And last but not the least, because 
we are on the weekend, I'll remind you that the Ghost Tomb Arena and Trial of Gods will reset. Dragonstones have been added for both events, so make sure you finish all of your 10 Ghost Dome attack and 10 Gods of Trial. That's all for this week. I hope you have completed your event missions and see you online. Triple T Gaming